welcome back and a jolly good day to you all. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm on the pantry roof uh, at the back of our house and we showed this a few weeks ago, it was covered in moss, we cleaned all that off and it's got this rather unsightly cement board underneath and so we decided we had lots and lots of spare tiles so we're going to cover it with these tiles and it'll look just much nicer, more cosmetic. Uh, so that's the task. Um, I've had a bit of a frustrating time of it with this um, roof because I was I ordered some hooks uh, which clip them together, stops them sliding. Um, ordered them online, couldn't get them for some reason, whatever. So I got a refund, but um, the local Brickos don't have them. So I've decided I'm not going to wait any longer. Um, and last week it was raining quite a lot during the week, so I couldn't do it then. Um, and so I've taken the opportunity now to get out here, but the problem is I've got a few frosts overnight and I'm going to have to mortar the top and the bottom rows. And I've, obviously I don't want frost to get in the mortar and ruin the mortar. So I'm going to have to cover it up each, uh, each length I do. The, the problem is behind me up the top, I can't actually reach that without getting onto the roof. And I don't want to be treading on these. They're a bit fragile. They, they, br they become brittle with age. So I'm going to have to do it in sections. So I think I'm going to do a third and then wait a couple of days, then do a third, wait a couple more days, then do the last third. Um, because once I've covered it up and weighted it down, I won't be able to get to those weights if I do too much, you see. So I'm going to start that process today. I've laid out the first few rows, the bottom ones. I'm going to mortar those in now and then I'll do the top and then I'll work my way along. I'm going back out in the garden, back garden now. I'll take you around here and show you what I've done. Uh, let's open these shutters. I hate it being dark in here. Rolls is out here doing the bread oven roof. Bread oven? Um, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and Rolls is out here doing the pantry roof. And yesterday I cut all the grass out here, or well, most of it. I've, I need to get the strimmer out because there's a few rocks and things around the edges of this place. And you can't see it when the grass is long. Um, yeah, somebody mentioned um, a few weeks ago, I cut the front lawn with a mower, my petrol mower, and they said, oh, you need to get a ride on. Well, we have got a ride on mower. I actually like using the petrol mower to walk around with um, because it's it's got a roller on it. And I don't know if you can see on here, there's lots of peaks and troughs on this grass. and. It's like um, a piece of pastry rolling it out because <laughs> the grass is soft and damp at the minute, or well, the ground is. And um, also it's good exercise for me because this time last year I was only just walking without a walking aid because I couldn't walk at the beginning of the year. So, you know, it's really good exercise. Um, I've got a strim all around these rosemary bushes and trim them back. Unfortunately these ones have got all brambles growing in between them so that's a bit of a job to do. I started doing some of that yesterday so that's all ready to go in the van but unfortunately the van's on its last legs. There's our well. These rosemary bushes have got to come out they're dead and they were covering the well so it's nice to see that. Um, yeah, unfortunately the van's probably on its last legs. Um, there's it, the manifold's leaking 
fumes into the cab and the nuts are corroded in so we don't know if we can get them out and manifold could be cracked anyway um, and it would cost more to repair than the van's worth so that's a real shame because it's been a great workhorse um, oh this is pretty this I think this is beech tree although we didn't really get any nuts off it last year and I decided I wanted the hammock stand there and just here we've got it it's a kind of um, fuchsia but the little leaves they look like um, lilac tree leaves but I googled it it's got little pink flowers on and it, it is a fuchsia it's got a bit out of control I'm going to cut some of the dead stuff off um, I've got to maybe cut this pampas back I think it's the right time of year to do it now some people don't like pampas grass but I actually love it and I love it when the grass is come out later in the year. Um, along the back wall there where our climbing roses are, I'm going to chop them right back this year so we probably won't get many but we're going to wire them all up. Um, I've put a few rhododendrons in. I've got a few more to plant along there because I think that will look quite good. This is the back of our chateau and on the right there are three trees. I think they're all beech trees but we're going to take two of them out because it makes the room behind it is the tower room and it makes it quite dark in there so we're just going to keep one of them on the left there and there's more ivy to get rid of here and we have to top these laurels we haven't done them since we've moved in Looks like our neighbours have got a bee problem. A couple of beekeepers on the roof and they were up at the chimney so they must have a swarm. <laughs> right this is a little job I like to do every few weeks really um, and that's just sweep the flue. Um, as you can see there's a fair bit coming out and I probably did it six weeks ago. Um, it's perfectly safe that stuff, it's not tar or anything like that. Uh, it's just soot that builds up but I like to keep it clear. I don't like to just sweep the chimney once a year. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do this until the end of the season and then I'll um, get a chimney sweep in to do it properly so I can get a certificate. But in the meantime, it needs to be done. Well, like I said, that's about six weeks of build-up and that's been clean, dry wood in there. So you can just see all that soot. So imagine never sweeping your chimney or leaving it a few years. That would be bad news. <laughs> A lot of you have been asking about my thumb, uh, thank you. And for those new viewers, um, I had a little um, disagreement with the circular saw recently. Um, and it meant going to hospital and they sewed it back. Um, it was flapping around a bit. They inserted a pin in the end to hold it uh, tight. And I was due to go next week back to hospital to have the pin removed but it worked its way loose uh, about a week ago and when I changed the dressing one day it actually pulled the pin out um, didn't hurt you know I didn't even notice it to begin with um, so I've contacted the doctor and he said that's fine no need to come back for surgery if you've taken the pin out you've taken the pin out 
So, and the thumb's healing quite nicely. Slightly swollen still, but not much. But yeah, it's back to where it is, back to where it was. And the doctor said, just carry on as normal. But um, it's just a question of building up confidence now. <laughs> so hence the uh, one-handed, uh, I always take the hand off just as it hits the wood. So uh, just didn't want to aggravate it over the last few weeks. Um, so there you go. So thanks for asking. I know you've all been uh, asking periodically, so but it's okay now. Right, I've got a few more to chop and got to finish that roof, but um, stay tuned right to the end because um, Susie and I today, we've hit a bit of a milestone and we'll let you know later. Okay, well that didn't take too long. Um, it was a bit fiddly coming up this edge here because um, there's some diagonal cuts I've got to make in, and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I've lightly mortared those in. I've mortared the bottom two rows in and the last two. So they won't go anywhere. The ones in the middle shouldn't move. So now I've got to put the other ones on over the top of them to create the seal really. Um, so that's what I'll do now. Well, that's as far as I can go today. 
Uh, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I've never done this before, so I wasn't sure. You know, it looks fairly straightforward and it is. But the interesting thing is, um, all of the tiles, they're so different. You know, they're just different shapes. You've got some re really shallow ones and you've got some really steep ones, almost like a V shape. And it's just a question of making them compatible with each other. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I would have liked to have got a couple more rows done, but it's it's fine. Um, I've mortared all those in at the top and uh, I've done that quite neatly so yeah I'm happy um, yeah it's gonna look lovely and I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up I'll give it another hour then I'll wrap um, wrap them up put some uh, cloth over just so the frost doesn't get to it and then um, come back to it in maybe a couple of days and do another stretch so yeah it's gonna look great I'm happy and I've, I've actually done the most complicated part actually because I had to cut every tile up there cut them to shape etc um and i may still have to cut a few when we get up the top but um yeah i've, I've done the most complicated bit so i'm happy with that so yeah progress and it's gonna look lovely so really pleased and whilst i'm here i'd like to thank everybody for watching the last vlog um we at the time of uh, filming we've had something like 8,600 views and we normally get something like 5,000, five and a half if we're lucky so uh, it suddenly shot up in one episode so that's great and we've had a lot of new subscribers as a result of that so thank you to, to you all um, hopefully we'll repeat it with this vlog <laughs> and I'd also like to thank uh, Linda, Zoe, Marianne and Brian and Kathy who all bought us a coffee this week in fact more than one so thank you all of you it's uh, much appreciated and uh, if you haven't subscribed then perhaps you'd consider subscribing now and press the notification bell then you'd never miss a vlog so that's it and we shall see you next time bye so Today we're celebrating, um, it's two years since we got our keys on the 2nd of March. Yeah, that's uh, lots happened in two years. Yeah. So we're having a quick glass of bubbly, if, if I can get the cork out, just <laughs> celebrate. But ironically, we couldn't actually stay in the place that night, could we? No. Because of curfew. There was a curfew Yeah, here. we didn't get to... We didn't get the keys till late afternoon um, and we, because we had to be here at two o'clock to meet the owners, we couldn't bring the dogs with us because it was, it would have been too warm in the car for them, wouldn't it? Because it, yeah, it was quite it was a, warm a warm day. day. Um, so we had to leave them at our rental place, which was about 40 minutes away. 45, 50 minutes, yeah. And um, so by the time we came out from the notaire too late yeah it was too late we had to get back for the dogs and we had to get a special authorization to say that we were allowed to travel yeah because we didn't get home until half six and the curfew started at six but as long as you had a, a satisfactory explanation um and signing up and getting the keys to your house was okay but not traveling to the house no so we couldn't stay in here until the next night but it didn't matter we're here. We have the keys. Yeah. There you go, Lovey. Cheers. Cheers. It's been an eventful two years. It's been an interesting two years. <laughs> and thank you, everybody, for supporting us and watching. Mm. And, uh, yeah, perfect. So I, I've only actually had the pleasure of about six months of this place. <laughs> yeah, a little bit longer, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. Here's the next two years. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that's rather pleasant. In fact, that's um, Samur, Ackermans at Samur, which is ten minutes away from our rental property. Yeah. Up in the Loire we Valley. Were, we were in amongst all the vineyards, weren't we? We were. We were. We've got an interesting yeah. um, piece of footage, actually, as I was going to the supermarket through the vineyards. Yeah. So we might just... Uh, might just put yeah, that out one day. It was nice there, actually. It was very nice there. Not as nice here, though. <laughs> no.
enchantée.